Sample of magnesium contains 79% magnesium, 24, 10% magnesium, 25, and 11% magnesium, 26. Uh, calculate the relative atomic mass of magnesium. So relative atomic mass is an average mass of all the atoms uh, in a sample. Now, um, we can have different uh, atoms of the same element. These are called isotopes and naturally occurring. This, nat this sample of magnesium has uh, three different uh, isotopes in it. So we need to uh, use this formula, percentage times mass, the percentage abundance of an isotope multiplied by the mass number of that isotope. So percentage times mass uh, plus uh, the percentage of the next isotope, uh, the percentage abundance of the next isotope, multiplied by the mass number of that isotope. And uh, we need to do as many of these brackets as we have isotopes. So we've got three isotopes here, magnesium 24, magnesium 25, magnesium 26. So we're going to need three brackets all added together, percentage times mass. And we're going to divide all that by 100. So let's put some numbers in. 79% uh, times uh, magnesium 24. 79 times 24, stick that in brackets. Uh, plus uh, 10 times magnesium 25. 10 times 25. Well, 10 times 25 is 250. So I'm just going to write 250. Uh, plus 11 times 26. So uh, 11 times 26 uh, divided by 100. Let's work out the brackets. Uh, 79 times 24. Let's do that first. 79 times 24 equals uh, 1896. So let's, let's write this down. Let's just structure the calculation really clearly because it's so easy to make uh, mistakes with calculators. Loads of great students I've taught uh, have got grade nines, but actually made some horrendous calculator mistakes in the exam. Uh, but because they've shown they're working, they've still got grade nines. Okay, you might drop a mark for a silly calculator over it, but you're still going to get you know two out of three marks on a calculation um, if you show you're working. Okay, so we've uh, now got those three together. Uh, we're going to add them together and divide by 100. Now, the, the answer is going to have to be pretty close to 24 because most of this sample is 24. So that's another bit of, that's another check we've got our, our working correct. So 1896 uh, plus 250 plus uh, 286 equals uh, divided by 100. Answer 24.32. Equals 24.32. All these questions and more on elshamhighchemistry.com.